Well, the overarching goal, of course, is to treat this environment as an analog to ancient Mars. It's also uh, another objective is to understand early life on Earth. Why is it relevant to Mars? Why am I interested in those legs as an analog uh, to, to Mars? Well, very early on, we have good evidence now that there was lots of water uh, on Mars. And what we are doing here is that we are trying to document the evolution of lakes on Mars. And uh, we are doing this in an environment that is globally a good analog to what Mars was in the past. So how we do that? You have two options. Option one, you build a time machine. That's going to take you some time. The second option, you walk into a time machine. This is basically the option we, we've chosen. And to do that, we actually go high on Earth, because as you go high on Earth, you are going back on time, on Mars. And the reason you're doing that is because you are getting into a much thinner atmosphere. The lakes where we are at are about half a bar of atmosphere, of uh, atmospheric pressure. You have very high UV. You have a range of temperature during the day. We've always heard on Earth, where there's water, there's life. Of course, this is what you hope to learn ultimately, right? Yeah, uh, Mars is a planet that is very similar to Earth by many respects, and very different too. And it is enough similar that if there was enough water on Mars in the past, we hope that the condition were you know, suitable for life to appear. The objective of the Mars Exploration Rover is really to try to understand if Mars was habitable a long time ago, let's say 3.5 billion years ago. What happened in this transition period? What were the changes in those lakes? How much and how long habitability was sustained in those lakes? Why is it important? Well, the reason it is important is because the longer you sustain habitability in a lake, the longer, well, the better you give a chance to life to transition to another habitat. And so understanding that process is really important. In the end, we know all the lakes disappeared from the surface of Mars, but maybe life had time to adapt and migrate to refuges. There are copper pods, basically little shrimps that are about half a centimeter, 500 micron, 700 micron. And they seem, at least at this depth, to be gathering around rocks, by studying those, those lakes and the species there, we are contributing to a better understanding of our own planet. The reason why life is so successful on Earth is that it is an explorer. 